This changes everything now. Paris Hilton just like got like a whole scandal about it because what happens when your babies will lay down too much is the back of their heads get flat. Like literally. Flat headed kids. Babies with flat head kids don't pick up their Their parents kids. don't, don't. Pick them up. Yeah, I don't think we'll have a problem with that at all. No, I know, but isn't that crazy? Let's see all the colors to stimulate and to... Because I always see people talking about how hard it is to sleep while pregnant, and I don't find it that hard. I mean, nine months is a little intense because the stomach is so big that you wake up like every hour and a half to pee. I think I've Googled it once and I had to never Google something so bold again. It was like this diagram of how the internal organs like shift to make space for the baby. Um, yeah, everything is really different in there. So like the bladder has no space, so you get up like every hour and a half to pee. But it's actually a good thing because it trains your body kinda to wake up a million times in the middle of the night and fall back asleep so that you're ready when the baby comes to wake up because it's crying or to nurse or whatever and go back to sleep. So it's actually a great thing. And I'm a pro now. I will wake up, pee, go to sleep again, zonk out. Wake up, pee, go to bed again, zonk out. Anyways, good morning. Give me, give me some time to like wake up. Ugh. I'm 37 weeks today and I just woke up Oh my god, my face looks crazy right now. Why do I always film videos when I do self-tanner? Like, I should not be doing that. I'm 37 weeks today, and I just woke up with a notification from my little app that tells me, like, what's going on. You're 37 weeks today. Things are getting crowded in your uterus. Tell me something I don't know. It says three weeks to go. That's so weeks to go. He's as big as a canary melon and he's about 6.5 pounds. He's bigger. I got a big boy. Ugh. I'm very excited to give birth. Like I just want him here already. Like being pregnant was fun. And as much as I like joke and talk about how cute it is to style a baby bump, like I don't want to be styling a baby bump anymore. I want my baby have his bassinet right there waiting for him. And I just, I want, I want it. I want my little new best friend. I'm ready. 
for him. I'm just like, I'm already like over the pregnancy stage. I'm just like, I've done it. You know what it is? It's because they tell you your whole life that pregnancy is nine months. So you go, okay, it's nine months. And then you hit your nine month of pregnancy. And you're like, I want my f baby. But pregnancy is 10 months. So I got catfished by the world. You get to a point where you just want to wear stuff like this, like all the time. Before we get into the rest of this video, a huge shout out to this video's sponsors, Care Of. Care Of is an online subscription service that makes it very, very easy to stay consistent with a vitamin routine. It has this cute little dispenser and in these packets, is everything you need for the day. So how it works is you take an online quiz, you answer a couple questions about yourself, it's very quick, and they will put together a specific packet. I have calcium, iron, my doctor literally told me my iron is so low, so this is great. Prenatals, vitamin D, cranberry, omega fish oil, and a probiotic blend. Having everything you need in one little packet makes it very easy to remember in the mornings and to build into your routine. Take care of quiz to find out what's recommended for you. Use my code LaurenG50 for 50% off your first order. That is code LaurenG50 for 50% off your first order. Everything loose everything baggy i mean this is my little sleep outfit i have to go out of my way to put on like cute little outfits every day because it does make me feel good <laughs> you know my abs is three weeks to go but that's max yeah 37 you could be at 38 who knows Oh yeah, that's a whole other thing, but whatever. The wallpapers we can install. I know. The room is finally ready. I know. Isn't that great? I would have loved to have a little mini Henny and for him to be born a Virgo. And I mean, obviously, God's going to do what God's going to do. So like sitting here and thinking about, I want him to be this or I want him to be that is literally so dumb because it's not in my hands. But Henny's a Virgo. And obviously, at least in my eyes, he's perfection. He's perfect. Like that is the goal. He's just very like logical, pragmatic, plans things out on a calendar, on a schedule. Like let's get this done. I'm really hoping that this man, this little dude is a Virgo. And that's what it's giving. But look, what do I know? Black on black vibes today. Usually, I would wear an outfit like this to the airport. It's so crazy how long it's been since I've been on a flight. Oh my gosh. That's one of those things that I wasn't expecting to enjoy so much. It's like, obviously, when you get pregnant, you, you're you like, okay, I can't drink, which has also been great. But when I get back, the first cocktail I'm having is a grapefruit smash. Oh my god, it's delicious. It's like real grapefruit squeezed a bunch of it and then a bunch of mint leaves oh and a little bit of vodka can't wait um but i wasn't foreseeing like the no travel thing or like i wasn't thinking about it because once you get towards the end of your pregnancy you can't get on a plane hello you can you can send that sucker out with the plane pressure and then you're delivering a child midair like in the 10th row of a plane with people filming you like absolutely not and then once he's born i have to wait so his immune system gets strong enough to fly so it's going to be a while of like no flying and the no flying thing has been fantastic i haven't packed a luggage in months i haven't thought about going anywhere in months i've just been so peaceful nesting at home it's been great that's so unlucky i just got my leggings soaked excuse me while i grab another outfit really excited to wear this. Maybe these? Anything that has this little like V-cut on the tummy usually fits because it goes below the stomach. But anything with that like straight line, nah. Yes. Oh god, but now do I have a camel? <laughs> I'm so big right now. Like the stomach is really huge. Sometimes I look at myself and I'm like, how could this possibly get any bigger? Like how can there be weeks left? Where would it go? And then? I surprised myself every time I started noticing a couple stretch marks and my aunt was in Colombia and she got me this random cream, East Dean Woman. I'll see if I can link it, but this is literally from Colombia and I don't know, like everything I googled says that stretch marks are essentially irreversible, like there's 
not anything you could do. And there was one coming in right here, and I started putting on this magical cream from Columbia. Gone. Leave it to Columbia to make the impossible possible. Besides this, I've been using, I like do a cocktail every day. I'll do that with a little bit of this oil from Hatch. I have a couple different stretch mark creams that I just kind of blend together. But I feel like I'm not really going to get them because if I was, they would be here already. You know what I mean? Like I'm nine months. But then a bunch of other people said that they actually come after the fact. So I have to remember to do the creams after also. But also, I don't really, it's not the end of the world if I get a couple stretch marks. You know what I just realized? I'm so lucky. My rings never stopped fitting me. When I went to pick out my um, wedding band, the lady was like, I am not gonna size it for you because your ring's not gonna fit like once you're eight nine months pregnant your ring will not fit you so she refused to size it for me because she was looking out for me honestly like she was being super nice and she was like i'm not gonna size this ring for you because you're gonna get so swollen that this ring is not gonna fit so instead of sizing the actual wedding band all she did was go in there and put these little like jewelry balls I mean, if you know what they are you know what they are i don't think if i show you them you're gonna see them but it's these little balls in there that basically like fake the rings fit and then she said like once i give birth i would go in there and she could shave off the balls and then make the ring fit but my ring still fits i just realized that what the hell my engagement ring and my wedding band never stopped fitting <gasps> Purr. i'm not a doctor and i don't want to sit here and like make false claims and be like my workout is the reason that my ring still fits me my workout is a miracle workout like i'm not gonna sit here and be the queen of cap like that like i'm not trying to spew like some straight bs that i have no idea if there's any truth to it or not so i'm telling you like i have no idea if there's any truth to this and it could be completely genetic and it could be completely not correlated like i actually don't know but i literally think that because i've done 12 through 30 almost every day of this pregnancy my feet are not swollen my fingers are not swollen my face is i mean i think it's swollen but I don't think it's actually objectively that swollen. I don't know. I feel like something about the, the moving, the getting the blood pumping, the circulation, like the walking, like the non... I don't know. I feel like it's just been the thing that hasn't let me swell up. If I had to bet my life, I'd say the reason that I am not swollen is because of that. And I am no doctor. Maybe somebody that knows about this can comment. Like, do you know? Like, does doing a 30-minute treadmill routine almost every day, like, prevent swelling and stuff because my rings still fit me my feet i'm not going to show you them because it's so not but they look normal ish <laughs> normal ish and the women in my family i mean if i'm looking at purely purely genetics here the women in my family i remember them being pregnant and they would they would swell like i remember seeing their feet and being like whoa like, they were all giving Wendy Williams, and I'm not, <laughs> so maybe there is truth to it. Oh my gosh, how stinking cute does this wallpaper look? It looks so cute with the yellow, it looks so cute with the painted sky. This is so cute. Okay, I'm, I'm actually really, really excited. And they did such a good job, like they actually took off the outlet covers to put the wallpaper, like they did it right. So honestly, that was like the last step that this room needed, kind of. No, I mean, this room technically needs a lot, but at the same time, if he's born tomorrow, everything is okay because they don't even sleep in their crib for a couple months, I believe, or weeks. So we have his bassinet in the room. So if he is born tomorrow, he has a place to sleep. The crib is so dramatic with this delivery. They've brought it like three times and every time in the building I get notifications that they've refused delivery and I'm like trying to figure out where this crib is, the changing table, the same thing. I've just been having the worst luck with this building and getting the crib and the changing table in, but it's somewhere, it exists. It's in some storage warehouse. 
So I have to like locate that. But I mean, the things are here, like everything's in, everything's in its spot. So once I get in contact with that team, we will have the crib. I built this, look at how cute this is. This is a play gym and he'll basically lay on his back and play with all these toys. I mean, we know, we remember what these are. It's like, I don't think this is anything new, but this one specifically is so cute and all the toys are made to stimulate. Like, look at this, all these colors that go above and he can play with them. And it comes with these little cards that are good for developing his eyes and his brain. So you like flash these at him. Oh wait, cute. And this is all like good for the brain. And then here I could start teaching him like dog, ball, baby and it has these little mirrors too so he can see himself oh i really i really 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 just want him to be here already like i i ugh. you start getting to this point where you're like i have been pregnant for so long like i get it like please come out please come out so we can hang out let me show you some other cool stuff I have. I got a bunch of cool gizmos and gadgets. Did you like it? Yes, I love it. I want to show some of the cool gizmos and gadgets we got. This is all new stuff too. That's new? That's all new stuff. This is a, it's like a clutch bag or something. So you bring this, right? Like this can go like anywhere. And if you need a quick like changing cable thing. It's this should like, be yours. Cause it's uh, your vibe. Put it here on Whoa. any table. Then there's like a surface, and then you have all the stuff here to uh... Mom, Mom, those are not your toys. But she's just smelling it. She's just smelling it. Oh, I feel bad. See, this is the swaddle. I'm trying to get swaddled up. Swaddles are cute. And I just had that other one sent to me, like the one that's like um, that gorgeous cream color. Oh. This is cute. But now I need to learn how to wrap it like a burrito. Well, I'm sure it says it on the box. No, I feel like you got to kind of figure it out. It's like traditional sh**. Wait, I thought it was supposed to be like longer, so you could wrap it around like one, two, and Yeah, then... that's what I was thinking. This is maybe to swaddle the baby. This is to swaddle the baby, but then how do you... So this is not to swaddle it to yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this that might is be a so different you, name. So his arms and his legs go in and he can't scratch himself, and then you can like pick him up and put him up down with a burrito. Yeah, this is just to wrap him up like a legit burrito, so he's just like a mummy, like just like chilling like... 70% bamboo, this, whatever that is, 30% cotton, I'll take it. This needs to be washed, so let's just put it in the wash place. Let's wash clothes today. We can even start a load now, though. Well, well remember, I don't know if we're going to throw it in the washing machine, because apparently a lot of those are very, very delicate. So, like, all the knit ones, like, the super, super cute ones, those can't be, like... We can throw some. 